A very good morning. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. We're all smiles here, of course. We've got the lovely Melinda Bam here with us. In a, have you ever had people call you that? Melinda Bam! I think that you. Elke liebe keer in gereeld en dan nogmaals. Dat is ongemakkelijk raak. Nee, 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 dat wordt nooit uit. Nee, dat wordt nooit uit. Nee. Oh, love it, love it. But right now we, we are catching up, of course, on the latest uh, news happening in the world of stars and celebrities. The Screen Actors exactly. Guild. Exactly. They just wrapped up at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. Now, the nice thing about this is this is where actors who are part of the Guild mm -hmm. uh, nominate other performers as well. So it's like me saying, you're awesome, you should get an award, and then you get an award, and it's like, yeah. Uh, okay. But we actually have a s little sneak peek of what went down at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to the Screen Actors Guild. Um, this has been such an extraordinary year for performances, and to be included in this number of Michael, Ben, Jake, Steve, but beyond that, to Bradley Cooper, to David Oyelowo, to Bradley Cooper, oh, I've said Bradley Cooper, to, to oh, Timothy Spall, what an extraordinary man, um, is a great privilege for me. These are all actors I've long admired. Um, I would like to dedicate this award, uh, this very wonderful skinny man, um, to those people around the world living I dedicate this heirs. wonderful skinny man. Emotional speeches, do they ever not get emotional though? I, I don't think so, but all the ways that I love him, he's amazing, this Eddie Redmayne, <laughs> of course, the theory of everything, he is phenomenal in that role as well. And then of course Birdman walking away with a big award. Um, you know the nice thing about these awards is it's the last a big award ceremony honouring film and TV before the Oscars. Yeah. So it's also a massive indication of what's going to happen. Indeed. At the Oscars. Yeah. But let's talk about some of the winners uh, in terms of the film category where the performance by a cast, the best performance by a cast in a, mo in a motion picture, went to Birdman. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, then the performance uh, by a male actor, you've just seen it now, Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. Um, yeah, let's talk about the other ones. Exactly. Well. Julianne Moore for Still Alice, a uh, leading, I mean, female actor in a leading role. And then Boyhood, who Melinda says she loves very much. Well, a movie that took 12 years to make, I would love as well. <laughs> I think it's, it's absolutely exceptional. And I think the only reason why they, they did so well at the, at the SAG Awards was because all the actors know exactly what, what it takes to make a yes. film and mm. how much you invest in it. And this, yeah. this, these actors have really dedicated 12 years of their life in making a single film. And I think that is really something to... Yeah. to Com to commend and to really just actually give them the, the appreciation that they deserve. Exactly. 12 years. What would you yeah. dedicate 12 years of your life to? I dedicate my whole life to a single person. Aww. 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 Adrian! Yes, Simon! Yes, Simon, Adrian! Yo, yo, sit for me. Oh, that's, um, that's beautiful. No, but I think you, you dedicate your life to what you're passionate about. Yeah. And I think um, being in the entertainment industry, actors really dedicate their life to their, their sole passion, which is, mm. which is being able to convey a message that moves people in the shortest yeah. space of time. And you've got so much influence in that industry. And I think that's really remarkable the yeah. about the movie. And that's why, that's why they call him Melinda Bam, because when she throws in those punchlines, it just bam, bam, just happens. Bam. It's not all your streets. <laughs> but right now, yes, uh, let's catch some, uh, get some music right now. Khan Morby, uh, we're very excited about his album that's going to be launching very soon. Of course, he's crowdfunded the entire project. Yes. But we thought we'd bring you one of his latest songs right now, which is Days Like This. Damn.